Hey, do you know what a velvet ant is? So a velvet ant is my favorite animal, or one of my favorite animals at least. And even though it's kind of confusing, they're not really an ant. Velvet ants are actually wingless wasps. Well, the female's a wingless wasp, the males actually have wings. They're super cool though. In my opinion, velvet ants are the coolest wasp in the world. They're cool because of lots of different reasons. For example, they're brightly colored. They're part of a big Mullerian mimicry ring. So they're brightly colored. These warning colors are to warn predators. What are they warning predators about? Well, they're warning them about their painful sting. Velvet ants have one of the most painful stings of all the wasps and bees and ants out there. In fact, they also have the longest stinger compared to their body out of any bee wasp or ant. Not only do they sting and have bright colors to warn things, they also actually have a warning sound. It's called stridulation. So they squeak when they're, when they're bothered. Listen to this one. So they have a long sting. They're brightly colored. They have a painful sting. They squeak. They also have a really hard body. Their cuticle, their exoskeleton is harder than most other insects. In fact, it takes 11 times as much pressure to crush a velvet ant than it does to crush a honeybee. Pretty cool. So my favorite velvet ant is the thistle down velvet ant. So thistle down velvet ants are fluffy and they're white. Most people assume that they are camouflage with these. This is a creosote bush, and these are the fruits of the creosote bush, these white, fluffy seed pods that are actually the fruits of the creosote bush. So people consider the uh, thistle-down velvet ant to be camouflage with those because they live in the same parts of the country as those, they're active in the same habitats as those, and when they're crawling around the sand, they look just like these creosote seeds as they blow across the sand. So everybody has said for years and years that the thistle down velvet ant is camouflage because it looks like creosote seeds. So we are out at some sand dunes. It's kind of in the evening, the sun has just gone down. I have found that this is a good time to find velvet ants. We're a little bit late in the day. Uh, if you come a little bit earlier, that's fine too. But we're gonna look around on these sand dunes for some of these thistle down velvet ants. We've already found several of the creosote fruits that have tricked us, but so far no thistle down velvet ants. So we spotted one. See if I can get close to it as it runs away. See that little white dot running there on the sand? That is Dazimutilla gloriosa. It's probably searching around for the nest of a sand wasp. And so there are the creosote fruits next to it. You can see how similar those are. So there are actually several species that people call the thistle down velvet ant. They're all part of a mimicry ring that I call the desert mimicry ring. It's all down in the Mojave Desert, Chihuahuan Desert and Sonoran Desert, really concentrated though in the Mojave Desert, like Southern California. All of these velvet ants are kind of grayish white or maybe yellowish white, and a lot of them are really fuzzy. So the most common that people encounter is a species called Dazimutilla gloriosa, my favorite species of velvet ant. You'll see it on some of the shirts that I have. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Wilson. I'm a biology professor, a bee scientist, and an author. Or on the sticker on the back of my car. So Dazimutilla gloriosa is one that looks so much like these creosote fruits um, that that's probably where this rumor started that they are mimicking the creosote fruit. So I had a question about that though. So evolutionarily, Dazimutilla gloriosa, it's been here and it's been white for you know, five million years based on some genetic analyses that we've done. So Dazimutilla gloriosa is kind of an old species, but creosote bush actually didn't evolve in North America. Creosote bush is from South America and it arrived in North America sometime during the Pleistocene, during the Ice Age. Most research suggests that creosote bush wasn't well established here in the Mojave Desert until about 100,000 years ago. So in other words, Dazimutilla gloriosa, the thistle down velvet ant, was white millions of years before creosote bush got here. So why is it white? Well, some of my colleagues and I just recently published a paper that investigated that question. Why is the thistle down velvet ant white? And so what we found, not only that it's older than creosote bush, but we did some 
thermoecological experiments. So we put specimens under a heat lamp and measured their temperature, both internally and externally. And then we compare that to related species of velvet ants, the ones that are orange and black, the ones that people are used to seeing. And so it turns out that the thistle down velvet ant stays cooler than their orange and black relatives. That white probably is an evolutionary adaptation to stay cooler in these hot desert environments. And so as you're walking around the sand dunes, you're a velvet ant, you're looking for things to parasitize, the longer you can walk around and forage, uh, the more successful you will be. And so that light coloration was probably favored because it allowed these white velvet ants to forage longer and therefore um, be more successful than their orange relatives. So what do you think? Velvet ants are pretty cool, right? So subscribe to our channel and like this video to see more. Thanks for watching.